Hey kids, welcome to lesson six, user input in strings, part two, importance of double quotes. You may have noticed that the strings we've seen are wrapped in double quotes. These double quotes are not part of the string. Instead, this is how you indicate that a sequence of characters is a string and not the name of the variable. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. As you start writing programs with strings, it is common to generate errors from forgetting to place them in double quotes. I know I do that all the time. When we're going to generate some of these errors now to see how we can recognize them more easily later. We have a little example here. This looks like what our code is down there. We have a console log reminders, uh, finish project for Monday, practice script for presentation, tryouts after school, and we got some red dots there do this. This program generates many errors because strings were not placed in quotes. Run the program before you change it to see the errors that are generated. Add double quotes around all the strings so the program runs without errors. I think this is going to be our key right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at our code. We have just like our example up there, console.log with reminders. We have one saying finish project for Monday, practice script for presentation, and a final one that says tryouts after school. Let's go ahead and hit run and see what happens. As expected, we're getting an error here. I know that because I have a yellow triangle and two red squares telling me something. Hmm. I know it said these should be in quotes. So let's start off with that. I'm gonna put my reminders in quotes. And my first one here was already in quotes and it didn't have an error. So that's going to lead me to believe that I'm probably on the right path here. This one didn't have one on the start or end. And this one didn't have one at the end. Now that they're all in quotes here, I don't see any more errors over here. Let's hit clear on this reset run. Down here we have our reminders, finish project for Monday, practice script for presentation, and tryouts after school. So those quotes right there fixed it and we got our printout in our console.log statement exactly like we should. Again, this is something I forget to do all the time. Make sure you check over it before you run your program. Save you some headaches in the future. I don't think code.org wanted anything else. Let's see if they did. Nope. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next lesson.